everyone. I am back. Um, you remember on the last video, I made these backgrounds. They're dry now. I've taken them in the house, given them a little iron because, you know, they do get a little lumpy. They're still a little lumpy. You know, you can see the paper doesn't lie flat, but that's okay. Um, but I did iron them a little bit. And look, the mica powders just dried beautifully. Look at that shine on there. They did that. That was better than I expected. And they don't seem to be rubbing off on my hand. So that is awesome. See this one? This is the first one I did that was more puddly, had brighter colors. But I had sprinkled that uh, mica powder on there in little spritzes. That worked too. So I'm going to give these guys a quick cut. Um, I just wanted you to see them uh, as a full sheet first. Um, because these pieces of paper are 9 by 12, I'm going to cut them down to 3 by 4. That will give me a nice even amount of, uh, of placements. Um, I don't know that I can get this up here. Well, I can. You're not going to be able to see the whole thing, though. This is uh, an old-fashioned guillotine-type cutter. Um, I don't know if I can back up enough to, so you guys can see the whole thing on screen. I don't think so. No, that's as far back as I can get. But it's an old-fashioned guillotine-type uh, paper cutter from the oh, 40s or 50s or something. It's It was my uh, mom's I think that's where I got it from anyway uh, we want three inches going this way that will give us three pieces going the long ways Cut it into four pieces going the other way. Let's see, can I do them stacked on top of each other? Haha, <laughs> probably not, but we're going to try anyway. That might make a mess out of them. Three by four. Oh, what the heck. Close enough. So they're going to be this size, three inches by four inches. And see how each one has a little bit di different variety of color. That will be fun upcoming when we do a pattern on them. And then they'll be already done. So basically, about a half hour of playing with watercolor and some dry time and a few minutes of cutting and you have some beautiful backgrounds that you can use for whatever you want. I think I want four by fours for this next one and then I'll end up with a, a strange little strip, a one inch strip, but that's okay. I can use that as um, to make bookmarks. Four by four. Yeah, that'll make a nice bookmark. Cut that in half. And then these I want to cut four inches as well. So how's life going for you guys since the last time we met? Hope everything's fine. Um, we recently uh, went through the 
one year anniversary of the passing of my brother-in-law so that was a little tough day but we got through it we got through it with the help of family um, okay put this away so I don't trip on it back down underneath my cabinet okay so now I've got let me zoom back in just a little so you guys can see each page. So now I've got some beautiful backgrounds that I can use with some shimmer and just fun, fun backgrounds. And because somebody had asked me, well, how do you make those backgrounds? Well, there we go. So now you know how it's done. It's very easy, right? Get the backgrounds. And they all look different. That's how I do it. So let's let's put a let's grab one of these um, Tangle Speak inspiration cards. Um, and put it on here. We're just shuffle them around a little bit. Pick one from the middle. Let's use that one. This one says depths. Do they all have something different on that part? Oh, yeah, no, nope, not really. Okay, expectations. Our expectations are directly related to how we feel or react to a situation or an outcome. Release the need for control over situations involving others. Depths invites you to examine your expectations and become more flexible, less attached to things turning out exactly as you planned. Well, now, isn't that appropriate for what we do here on this channel? Um, I'm always uh, just saying, you know, let your art do whatever it wants to do and let it just let it go, right? So let's see what the pattern is on this side. Oh, it's sort of an octopusy thing. So we're going to make some sort of tentacles. First thing we're going to do is draw a sort of an S shape. And then we're going to draw the little circles coming up following that. And then in between each circle, we're going to connect them with a line. And then we can put a little extra bit to make them look like that. So we're going to do a little aura. And that's it. Just takes four steps, and um, we can have them overlapping and doing their thing. I like how they're all coming up from the bottom, from the depths. So let's pick one of these and decide which one seems like the depths of the sea. There's a nice bluey green one. Maybe that one as well. Well, there's quite a few, but I like these two. Um, Actually, like this one better for this particular prompt. Let's use one of these. Okay. I'm going to give myself a border. Uh, I'm going to, am I going to give myself a border with anything in particular? You know what? I think I want, I think I, I, I think I want to draw actually with a color. Let's draw with blue. Let's draw with blue. I'm going to give myself a blue border. And I actually think I'm going to make my border with colored pencil. Let's do that as well. This color, uh, ultramarine violet. Just going to go around a couple of times, make a nice border. And then coming up from there, we're going to do whatever f makes us feel happy. Let's, let's come up from the bottom here and come out and around this way. 
that looks good. Um, and are my tentacles on the inside or the outside of this particular shape? Let's have it on the outside. So let's go like this. I like that you put the tentacles first so that you're not trying to squeeze things in. That's cool. Just like that. And then I'm going to come around and connect those in between. Just like that. And I like on the sample that there's a, seems to be some depth. I, I didn't make these wide enough. I think I need to make a bigger space here. And I need to make these a little bit more roundy. So this particular one needs some finesse. I'm going to put the little extra aura here. That helps quite a bit. And on the sample it's got some little bits of dots coming up here. They've got them on the whole thing, but I'm just going to put them in a few spots. And we're going to zoom in just a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to do one going the other way. that. And we're going to make them a little bit wider. Like so. interesting that this ended up being the pattern for today because I've gone back to watching um, the live view of the um, Nautilus uh, underwater explorations of, of the um, Hawaiian seamount. So I'm watching them explore corals and fish and things under the ocean. It's been fun to do. Oop. Why am I going way out there? I don't know. That one's rogue. So it's kind of fitting that that's what ended up as the thing to draw today. That, that one's going right off screen. Uh, and we have one coming Out, under, out. Let's have one coming out from here. And going under, all the way to here. Like that.
just like so. Okay, and maybe one more up here. He's he's hanging out down here and he's reaching up and he's going to come around like that. Just like that. Easy peasy, right? Perfect. All right. I like that. I'm going to give it a little bit of shading. I don't want anything dark. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shade using some colored pencil instead of graphite. I think I'm going to try this color. It's a bit too blue. A little bit more of a blue gray. Do I have a blue gray? Let's try this color. Cool gray, deep. That looks too much like color, like, yeah, that does not got the color in it. Let's go back to this one. We'll just have them both. A little bit of cool gray deep, a little bit of this ultramarine. Come on. I think it's time to get a new a new pencil sharpener. I've only been using this same pencil sharpener for years. I think it's it's about had it for its for its lifespan. and then add a little gray to it. Like that. both of those colors in there. Yeah, that's not so bad. Just a little tiny bit of the gray. I don't want it too dark. I think I found a um, a company. I haven't I haven't downloaded it yet, but I, or um, purchased it. I found a uh, company where I can get some like soft background kind of music, um, royalty free. Uh, it will cost a little bit more than a regular CD. 
but I can bring it in here with my CD player and just play it in the background on any of my videos and just have a nice soft music in the background while we work and not have to worry about royalties which would be nice so I may order that I have to decide which which uh, sounds I want but okay so this was called depths and there we go very easy simple um, coming back on the next video I have um, a special request so I'm going to take care of that and I will see you on the next video. You guys have a great day. And um, go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. And I'll be back. Bye-bye.